Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at Minecraft version 1.17 and the 1.17 update launched recently. This is the Caves and Cliffs update and at the moment we're all waiting for Optifine to be released. So I'm going to show you guys an alternate method to install shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.17. And this is going to be done without Optifine and it's actually going to be using an application called Iris and I'm going to show you how to download that application, install it and then also download and install a shader pack for Minecraft Java 1.17 and as you can see now I have got a shader installed and this is Silda's Vibrant Shaders and I am using the highest pack available for that so let me just go into my options, click on video settings, shader packs. As you can see, I'm running the Silders Vibrant Shaders version 1.29 Extreme Edition. And if I quit out of this and go back to the title, you can see at the bottom left here, I am running Minecraft version 1.17. As you guys can see, I am running the Silder Shader Pack here, and we are on the 1.17 update. And yeah, we're running this without Optifine because Optifine is not available. As you can see, we've got the uh, amazing graphics here from Silder's Shader Packs. I think this is one of the best shaders for Minecraft Java Edition. So today guys, I'm going to show you how to download the Iris application to enable shaders for Minecraft Java 1.7. And then I'm also going to show you how to download and install Silda's Shader Pack onto Minecraft Java Edition, the Caves and Cliffs Update 1.17. Alright, so the first thing you guys need to do, if you already haven't done so, make sure that your Minecraft Java Edition version is the latest release. So as you can see at the bottom left here, it says latest release 1.17. So if you haven't updated your game yet, make sure that you've opened up the launcher, you've updated the game. Alright, let's close this down. The next thing we need to do is open up your internet browser and just start typing in Minecraft and then Iris. And as you can see, it's normally the first link here, which is irisshaders.net. So if we go to this website, you will see a website like this. And you can do a bit of reading about it and see how this works basically and it's really cool because this actually works right away at the moment with version 1.17 and if we go to Optifine just kind of type in Minecraft Optifine you can see that we don't actually have a proper release we only have the preview version for Minecraft 1.17 and if we go to the change log here it does say not compatible with Forge and at the top here it says not working shaders. So obviously we would have to wait quite a long time for Optifine to be optimized for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. All right, so let's close these down. Let's go back to the Iris Shaders website and just click on download now. And it should say download universal jar. So just go ahead and click that. It should start downloading. And it's a really small file, it's only 800 kilobytes. Okay, so now that you've seen that this is a JAR file, the next thing we're going to do is, if you haven't already done so, if you start typing in java.com, we're going to download Java and make sure that we are running the latest version of Java because this is going to help us install the Iris Shaders installer. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Agree and Start Free Download. 
All right, so once your files have downloaded, as you can see, I've placed one on the desktop there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run Java setup. As you can see, so I'm going to click on install. And this is basically going to update my Java edition that I've got on my computer at the moment. If you guys are running the most up-to-date version of Java, it will pop up with the message saying that you are already running the latest version. Let's just wait for that to finish installing. All right, so once it's finished installing Java, you should get this message which says you have successfully installed Java. So just click on close. All right, so the next thing we need to do is if we have a look at this file, which is the Iris installer, and it's a jar file. So to install this, we have to right click on this, click on open with, and then you can select the Java platform SE binary from here. And what this will do is it will actually open the installer for you. So it will make it really easy for yourself. All right, so now it says, select edition, select game version. So first thing you need to do is make sure that it does say 1.17 here. And if you were to try and install the Iris and Sodium, it will pop up with a message saying it's not compatible yet. So as you can see, so the one that we need to select is Iris standalone. And the install directory is the default. So just go ahead and click on install. And it should say installation succeeded. Now, if we just go ahead and close this down, now we can open up our Minecraft launcher. So as you guys can see on the bottom left here, I do have this thing which says Iris standalone. And if we go into installations, we can see that this has been installed now. We can actually click on play. Now, the next thing you need to make sure is that you do have a shader pack folder. So if you click on this folder icon here, and if we go down to where it says shader packs, you should, you should have this folder in your Minecraft directory. Now, if you don't have this, the easy way to do it is to actually click on play. Just wait for that to download the files for Iris. I have to go to options, video settings, shader packs, and if you click on the open shader pack folder, it should open up this uh, shader packs folder there for you. Alternatively, you can just go into the Minecraft directory and just create a folder that says shader packs like this. All right, so now we're going to download the Silders shader pack and put it in that folder so then we can install it in the game. Right, so if we open up our internet browser again, start typing in Silders Shaders. I've already got it there, so I'm just going to click on Enter. And then it's normally the first link, and it's the github.io website. So if we click on Silders Shaders over here. All right, now if I click on the download section, and depending on what kind of computer you are running, because this uh, shader pack does require a intensive computer to run the highest shader pack settings here which is the extreme volumetric lighting uh, so you depending on what computer setup you do have you can go ahead and download one of these so just for this example i'm going to download this one which is the extreme volumetric lighting edition so let's go ahead and click on download all right so once that thing has finished just click on skip and that will take you to the uh, media file link. So you click on download. It's a small file, 137 kilobytes. All right, so once that file has finished downloading, as you can see, I've placed mine on the desktop here. If we open up the Minecraft launcher. And click on installations. Click on any one of these two and click on this folder icon over here. Let's minimize that. We scroll all the way down to shader packs and we can just drag this Silders Vibrant Shader file, it's a zip file, and put it in the shader packs folder there. There we go. If we just close that down, 
go back to the installer, click on play, make sure Iris standalone is selected and then click on play again. Just wait for that to load up now. All right, now if we click on options, click on video settings, click on the shader packs icon here, you will see that it says shaders enabled and we can actually select Silder's Vibrant Shaders version 1.29 Extreme Volumetric Edition. So if we just click on this, click on apply, and then click on done. Now if we just go into our game, I'll create a new world just to show you guys a new world. It's a normal survival default difficulty. So let's click on create new world. And as you guys can see, we are now running Silda's Vibrant Shaders and we have just created a new survival world. And everything just looks amazing because this is one of the best uh, shaders we can get for Minecraft Java. And you just look at that sun. I think this shader pack is really cool. I like the clouds, the tiles, and the water is amazing in this as well. As you can see there. So yeah, at the moment, because Optifine has not been released, this is how we can install shaders for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. Uh, we can do it using the Iris Shaders mod file, which enables us to run shader packs like Silda Shaders, or even the, the BSL Shaders if we wanted to try that. If you guys did find this video useful please do give us a like if you have any comments or queries about this please do leave them in the comment section below and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow thank you guys for watching